Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin Rose and today I'm gonna be skipping over my normal introduction because this video is a little bit different than the rest because it's actually the introductory episode of my new podcast. I am so excited to be bringing to you guys the very first episode of Living Untamed. That's the name of my new podcast. And in this introductory episode, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the podcast. I'm going to share the purpose and the vision behind the podcast. I'll be talking about the various topics I'll be discussing on my podcast episodes and so much more. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna be switching over to that podcast episode. So you won't be seeing my face like this. I mean, there will be a few slides on the screen, but mostly if you want to, you could just put the video on in the background and listen as if it was a podcast. And at the time I'm recording this video right now, the podcast episode is also available on Spotify and I'm working on getting it on Apple Podcasts. So I'm gonna switch over to the podcast episode. Please let me know in the comments what you think of it, or as always, you can send me a DM on Instagram. All right, let's get into the episode. Welcome to Living Untamed, the podcast for the rebels, the rule breakers, the heart-led visionaries who know they are meant for more. I'm your host, Caitlin Rose, a spiritual life and mindset coach, and my mission is to empower you to break free from the cage that restricts the vision of your soul and awaken to the powerful creator that you are. In this podcast, you'll learn the mindset, the energetics, and the aligned strategy to not only expand your impact and your income, but also create the authentic, fulfilling life that you so deeply desire. Thank you so much for joining me. Now let's get started. Hello, hello. I am so excited to be recording the very first episode of Living Untamed. And in this introductory episode, I want to share with you the purpose and the vision for Living Untamed, which is actually so much more than just a podcast. This podcast really is the starting point of my new brand, a movement I'm starting to empower soul-led entrepreneurs to break free from the rules expectations, and standards that hold them back from experiencing their soul's desires. And that's really what I believe it means to live untamed. Living untamed is about breaking free from anything that keeps you trapped in a cage, anything that limits you from being, doing, and having what you desire in your life. Now that may be limiting beliefs, disempowering stories, family or societal norms and expectations, anything that holds you back from being your authentic self, from tapping into your limitless potential, and from experiencing what you want to experience in this lifetime. Because for many people, myself included, we've been told what to do, how to act, and who to be from a very young age. We learned rules, we learned standards, we learned what was expected of us from our parents, families, teachers, and society. Now, of course, what I really want you to know is that living untamed is not about disregarding all rules and just living recklessly. It's important to follow the laws that keep us safe, and it's important for us to be kind and compassionate humans. Now, what I'm talking about is when through our experiences in childhood or even in adulthood, when we were led to believe that what we desire to do, be, or have either wasn't possible for us or that we weren't deserving of it or we weren't good enough to experience what we desired. And on top of that, most people aren't taught that they are the creators of their reality. Quite the opposite, actually. Most people are told that they have to basically play the cards that they are dealt. Meaning, if my family was poor, that's just the way it is. If I develop a health condition, that's just the way it is. 
or even though I have a passion for something, I can't pursue it because I have to go to school and get a degree. That's just the way it is. So most people are taught that they have no control over their reality. And with the Living Untamed podcast and movement, my ultimate goal is to teach you another way, to teach you how to take your power back and consciously create your reality. So to kick this podcast off, I think I'll tell you um, a story, a part of my story that had a huge impact on my life because it held me back from pursuing my passions. Now, this was back in high school, I think sophomore year, I was about 15 years old, and I absolutely loved watching the home remodeling shows on HDTV. That's what I did in nearly all of my free time. I just loved how they would take like such an ugly space and transform it with paint and furniture and artwork. I mean, I just loved it. I still do, actually. And back then, Since I loved watching those shows so much, I decided that I wanted to become an interior designer. However, when I told my mom that's what I wanted to do, her response was, you'll never make enough money doing that. Now, I didn't have the awareness back then to consider, you know, what is enough money? How much do interior designers make? Is money the most important factor in choosing a career? Rather, I just took this statement as truth and I went down a path of considering careers that could make me good money. I honestly felt as though I had to make good money in order to be accepted by my parents and I felt like I had to make good money in order to live a happy life. So through various people in my life, I learned that pharmacists earned a six-figure salary and for that reason and that reason only, I enrolled in pharmacy school. Now, fast forward six years after that, and I was 23 years old, making $130,000 per year. Now, don't get me wrong, the money was great, but I was so miserable. I hated everything about being a pharmacist for many reasons, but mostly because I knew that I was meant to do so much more than just hand out prescription medications. Now, this feeling inside of me, this knowing that I was meant to do so much more, it kept growing stronger and stronger, while simultaneously, I grew more and more depressed each day that I went into work. Every morning I had to go in, I just dreaded getting out of bed, and even some days when I was at work, I would go behind the counter and literally cry. You know, finally, I just said, I've had enough. I said, F this, I'm not doing this anymore. And I put in my two week notice. And this was very risky because I quit with no backup plan. I barely had any money saved up and I had over $200,000 in student loan debt. But I just knew in my heart that I had to quit. Now that was at the end of 2016. It's September of 2022 as I'm recording this, and I can tell you with absolute certainty that quitting was the best decision I could have made. So the point of sharing this story is to show you how my family's expectations and limiting beliefs held me back from following my dreams. And I've heard from my clients and from followers on Instagram that many people have experienced the same type of situation. Their parents may have said, You have to get this degree in order to be taken seriously. Or maybe, go to school for this so you can make good money. Or maybe for someone who was interested in pursuing art as a career, you may have heard something like, you're not going to be able to get anywhere by doing that. So those are just examples of how people may be held back by standards and expectations regarding what career they pursue. But... Living untamed is also about recognizing how we may feel held back and unable to experience what we want in life because we were taught who to be, how to act, and what was possible for us from a very young age. That's because during the first seven years of our life, the majority of our core foundational subconscious beliefs are formed. For example, beliefs about money, like 
you have to work really hard to earn good money or that wanting money is selfish or people with money are greedy or that we don't have control over how we receive money. The list goes on and on. And money is just one example. During this time, we form beliefs about everything, beliefs about relationships, beliefs about how the world works, beliefs about what success looks like, and so on. So breaking free from these disempowering stories and limiting beliefs is a huge part of the work that I do, and it's definitely something I'll be talking about a lot here on the podcast. I also want to help you break free from any beliefs that were formed about yourself and about your natural, authentic self-expression, because so many children often suppress who they really are in order to fit into a certain role that's accepted by their family and by society. This was certainly the case for me. So as a child, I was very quiet and soft-spoken and I was labeled as shy. So I was constantly hearing things like, you're so shy. You're not loud enough. What's wrong with you? Why are you so quiet? You're just, you're way too quiet. And hearing that over and over as I was growing up, I began to feel as though something was inherently wrong with me because I was naturally quiet and soft-spoken. And of course, this would look different for children who are naturally loud and talkative and adventurous. They may have heard something like, don't talk so much you're too loud, you're too much. So as you can see, as young children, we just naturally expressed ourselves in a way that felt authentic. But as time goes on, we learn more and more to become a certain type of person. Slowly, due to our circumstances and the preferences of our caretakers, we begin to adopt certain character traits and reject others. And it's not just our personality traits, but also emotions. And one common example is anger. As children, we were often punished for expressing our anger. We were punished for throwing tantrums, yelling, swearing, and even if we would physically destroy something. You know, instead of being taught healthy ways to express our anger, we were punished emotionally and maybe even physically and therefore, we learned that expressing anger was not okay. Now, of course, anger is just one example. There are countless emotions, behaviors, and beliefs that are shunned by society. So as we are growing up, we learn to reject these emotions, behaviors, and beliefs so that we can fit in, be accepted, be loved, and ultimately, so we can survive. Because for a child, being accepted by their caregiver is survival. So a young child may give up who they really are in order to stay connected to their caregivers. We will do anything to stay connected and loved, even if it means giving up who we are in the process. So if a child is rejected or even punished for acting a certain way, the brain senses danger and the stress response in that little child is activated. And if this keeps happening over and over, the child learns to live in a state of stress. And that stress can become trapped in the body, leading to nervous system dysregulation into adulthood. And that's definitely going to be a topic that I'll be talking about more on this podcast because nervous system regulation has been so important in my own healing. And it's an important part of the work I do with clients because living with this stored trauma in the body can lead to continual self-sabotage, bad habits, addictions, difficulty forming lasting healthy relationships, even chronic health conditions, mental blocks, resistance, and just ultimately not being able to move forward toward your purpose and towards realizing your true infinite potential. 
So you can definitely expect episodes on this podcast all about nervous system regulation, but really I want to get back into the point of this introductory episode, which was meant to introduce you to my definition of living untamed. And I hope you can see that when I say living untamed, I don't mean living recklessly, breaking all the laws and not listening to the guidance of others at all. I'm talking about the beliefs, the rules, the standards, the expectations, and even the stored traumatic experiences that inhibit us from expressing our essence, our uniqueness, our authenticity, and hold us back from reaching our fullest potential and ultimately living our dreams. So if there's a dream that's on your mind and in your heart, whether it's starting a new business, going full time with your business, changing directions with your career, expanding your income while also having more fun in life, whatever it is, I want you to know that that dream is meant for you. And if that dream feels out of reach right now, it's likely because of the stories, beliefs, and perhaps even stored trauma that's unconsciously holding you back from stepping forward towards your dreams. In this podcast, I'm going to share my experience, knowledge, and wisdom from doing this inner work over the past five years to help you tell a new story, to create new beliefs, to regulate your nervous system, and to redefine your self-concept so that you can show up as the most authentic, unapologetic version of yourself in life and in business. And as you could probably tell, I am just so passionate about sharing the living untamed message and guiding others to do this inner work because I see so many entrepreneurs who have decided to follow their passions and start their business, but they are met with a lot of challenges and struggle. They may have inconsistent income, they're not seeing growth in their following, they aren't signing as many clients or getting as many customers as they'd like, they're dealing with imposter syndrome, they're feeling stuck and overwhelmed and frustrated. And I just want to say that I've been there before and I know how frustrating it feels to have a deep desire for your business to succeed, yet it seems like no matter what you do, nothing in your reality is changing. In my case, and I feel like this is true for many other people as well, I kept showing up and putting in the effort and I just wasn't seeing the results I wanted. And therefore, I assumed that I needed to try even harder, to hustle harder, to wake up earlier and stay up later, to do, do, do. I focused on all of the external strategies. I thought to myself, maybe it's my Instagram bio. That's it. I'll change that and I'll get more followers and then more clients. Oh, well, actually, maybe it's my website or my sales page or my lead magnet. Or, you know, I think I just need to post even more every day, no matter what. And (laughs) I went down this rabbit hole of, chasing external strategies, looking for that one thing to fix so that I could see the results I was looking for. As you could probably guess, this led to burnout. And I'm not talking about just saying, oh yeah, like I'm feeling pretty burnt out. I'm talking about complete physical, mental, and emotional exhaustion. And here's how I knew I was truly burnt out. This is back when I was a health coach. I had finally started to see change in my reality through this hustling and working harder. You know, I had hit my first 5K month. I had several one-on-one clients. I had a really great launch of my online course. And the cherry on top of it all is that I had a TikTok video go viral and I gained 130,000 followers in literally one week. I know it's crazy, it's wild, I still can't believe that even happened. And here's the thing, this is how I knew I was burnt out because, you know, while I was initially excited about going viral and gaining all of those followers, I realized that I did not have it in me to keep making videos for TikTok. I did not have it in me to keep working as a health coach. And 
I just quit. I just could not go on. And there were many reasons that contributed to why I quit at this point. One reason being that I just wasn't loving being a health coach anymore. It just didn't feel in alignment with who I was becoming. And also because I did not want to continue to get results if it meant burning myself out to that point of complete exhaustion. So at that point, I took a break from my coaching business and I went through a period of doing really deep inner work and self-discovery. I spent almost all of my free time studying mindset, spirituality, conscious manifestation. I actually went super deep into learning about manifestation, like not just what most people teach on the internet of thinking positive thoughts or saying affirmations. Like I went really deep into understanding limiting beliefs, shadow work, recognizing unconscious patterns and self-sabotage, and also learning about the impacts of stored trauma and how to regulate our nervous system. And this work was hard, yet it was so rewarding because I've come out on the other side feeling renewed and feeling so deeply connected to my passion and my purpose and ready to share that with the world through this podcast and through my work that I do with my one-on-one clients. And the biggest lesson I learned from going through my period of burnout and having to put my coaching business on pause is this. True success is not experienced through hustling. It's experienced through alignment. Now, let me say that again, because it really is one of the main messages of my brand. True success is not experienced through hustling. It's experienced through alignment. And let me share my definition of true success. So most of society defines success by how much money you make, how nice your house is, how many possessions you own, how far up you climb in your career, or how big your business is. And I'm definitely not here to say that money is bad or that wanting to succeed in your career or business is bad. Like, that's not what I'm saying whatsoever. I actually very much support those who want to expand their income and their impact, and that's the work I do with my clients. But I feel that true success is also about living in alignment with your purpose, sharing what you stand for, having plenty of time to take really good care of your health, to take really good care of your family, and to nurture those important relationships in your life. And the belief that's perpetuated by our society is that you can't have all of this, that you can't have it all. But this is a limiting belief, and it's just not true. It's time that we break free from this limiting belief. Remember that living untamed is about breaking free from all of these limitations and restrictions and this limiting belief that you can't have it all is one that I really want to help others break free from and I want to be an example for my listeners, followers, and clients that it is possible to have it all. And 2022 has been the year that I've really begun to embody the belief that I can have it all because the first six months of 2022, I brought in over $100,000 through my various income streams. And I did this not by working harder, not by hustling, but by aligning my energy to the money that I desired to bring in while working less, while enjoying my life, and while spending quality time with my son and my friends and my family. And I'm ready to do that all again now that I've transitioned my business fully into mindset coaching. I've stepped away from my other businesses, and in the summer of 2022, I transitioned into mindset coaching for soul-led entrepreneurs full-time. You know, that's why I'm starting this podcast and I'm just really excited to share with you my journey of entrepreneurship and what I've learned along the way to go from being very held back by limiting beliefs, self-doubt, very low self-esteem, a scarcity mindset, a lot of stored trauma, and really a fear of showing up authentically to now 
showing up confidently in my fullest expression as a leader, tapping into my innate limitless potential, and really paving my own path as a soul-led entrepreneur with a message and with a mission to share with the world. And I want to help you do the same. So that is really the purpose and the vision for my podcast and for my brand. And I'm just really excited to empower other soul-led entrepreneurs to live an untamed life. And I think that's going to wrap up this introductory episode. I would love to hear from you of what you think of living untamed, of this podcast, of this movement. If anything that I shared, any part of my story resonated with you, please feel free to reach out. You can send me a DM on Instagram. Say hi, introduce yourself. I would really, really love to meet you and to hear what part of the podcast resonated with you. All right, that concludes today's episode. If this episode inspired you and you found it to be valuable, it would mean so much to me if you could leave a rating and a review for this podcast so that it can reach more people. And to say thank you for taking the time to do this, when you screenshot your review and send it to me via DM on Instagram, I'm going to send you a coupon code for 50% off any one of my paid masterclasses or digital products. Thank you so much for listening and I'll talk to you next week.